<laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome, like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video from yours truly. In today's episode of my Unique Home series, we're going to focus on dome homes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, without further ado, let's get busy, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> so today, I'm going to talk about dome homes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Dome homes are simply that. Mm-hmm. In the shape of a dome. Yes. Now, you can have one central dome, where... Everything in the house is together, or you can have, like, one central dome that has domes surrounding it, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Domes come in many different sizes. You can have small domes, big domes. Mm-hmm. Some domes spin. Yes. <laughs> mm hmm Others just stay put. Yeah. But look great. They all look great against a real cool landscape. <laughs> mm hmm Yes. You can have one story. You can have two stories. Mm hmm Maybe you'll have multiple domes for a home. Mm-hmm. I guess it just depends on what you want. <laughs> and what your finances allow, of course. <laughs> but yes, you can lay out a dome no matter what way you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the flow and function of it has to be great. <laughs> yes, I do agree. The functionality of dome home, you know, has to be that. <laughs> Functional. Mm hmm. Like you want the flow of every room to go together. <laughs> yes. When it comes to public spaces, of course. <laughs> mm hmm. Or any room in your home. Yes. All depends on what way you lay it out. <laughs> mm-hmm. It could be a simple, you know, one dome home where everything is in that one dome where you could have several domes for that home. Mm-hmm. Smaller domes could be, you know, <laughs> branching out of the main dome. Where your public spaces might be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. It's all how you lay it out, right? <laughs> yes. You can lay a dome out any way you want. <laughs> mm-hmm. But when it comes to dome homes, you can get really creative with them. I happen to agree. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So when it comes to laying out your dome home, get creative. In the next clip, we'll visit the interior. Mm-hmm. I'll see you guys in a minute. So now that we've talked about the shapes of dome homes, let's visit the interior. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to focus on a one-story dome for today. Mm hmm Yes. So, you're walking into your dome home. <laughs> yes. And where all these things can be found <laughs> are very important to the success of a great dome home. Mm hmm so let's say all the public spaces are together and all the private spaces are together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. 
So the public spaces are at the front of the dome. Mm -hmm. That would be, you know, your kitchen, your dining room, living area. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Yes. And they're all open to each other. Mm hmm Yes. You want a great kitchen, dining, and living area to flow together. <laughs> because they're all open to each other. Mm hmm Yes. Great spaces for the public spaces. Mm hmm And when it comes to finishings, <laughs> you know, like your baseboard, your trim for your windows. Mm hmm Windows and doors, too, can be important, especially in a dome home. <laughs> mm-hmm. All these things you're going to find in your public spaces, you're going to find in your private spaces as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you may have to make some of your furniture custom to fit the corners of a dome home. Some of these things I'm saying here apply to round homes as well. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But it depends on how you lay out your dome home too. Mm -hmm. It depends on like where you put the kitchen and dining area and living room. Yeah. Those are the public spaces. The private spaces go in the back. Yes. Mm hmm When it comes to the private spaces, like your bedrooms and your bathrooms, and if you're really lucky to have an office, or maybe a den, or a little library room, or storage, mm hmm <laughs> Yes. It depends on how many bedrooms and bathrooms you want, too. Because bathrooms and kitchens do sell homes. <laughs> mm hmm Dome homes, yes. It's important where every room needs to be in the dome home. Mm hmm Yes. But for the public spaces, they can be open to each other, whereas the private spaces can be more closed off. Mm-hmm. That's if you want to. Some people just use <laughs> very tall cabinets. Mm-hmm walls. Yes. Mm-hmm. When it comes to their private spaces, but a lot of people like walls. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So, if you're taking all these ideas and putting them into one particular design in mind when it comes to a dome home, make sure that it works for you. Mm-hmm. And your finances, of course. <laughs> but when it comes to interior designing a dorm home, you want to think about furniture. You want to think about lighting. You want to think about cabinetry, countertops. Mm hmm You want to think about everything that you're going to need inside to interior design with. <laughs> yes. All these things come in mind when it comes to the interior of a dorm home. Mm-hmm. Yes. So my advice to you is this. Just like the outside, get creative with the inside. Yes. I'll see you guys in the next clip to wrap up this video. Well, <laughs> I've had a great time today talking about dome homes. Mm hmm Yes. You never know what you can come up with when it comes to a dome home. <laughs> mm-hmm. And some people just like to have a dome shape added to their home, too. Mm-hmm. But today, we focused on the actual dome for the home. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. I love unique homes, and this is just one of them. Mm-hmm. That comes to my mind. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. On next week's episode, I'm going to focus on houseboats that can be used on land for a home. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. <laughs> or at C2. So, <laughs> next week's theme is Unique Houseboats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. No matter if they're on land or on the water, they can be just as unique. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, there you go. <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about next Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> mm-hmm. To bring you along and share all my tips that I have for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, it's been a great day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Turn on those notification bells so you never miss another video. I'm yours truly. Follow me on all my social media pages. You guys are awesome, wonderful, and lovely. And I'll see you all on Saturday for my next video. And I'll see you back here next Wednesday for the next episode of my Unique Home series. Until then, so long. Bye!